now that I have the top end back on, I didn't bring up the cylinder stud nuts to full torque. I only put about 10 foot-pounds on them just to snug up the head and the cylinder into the block and get everything to seat. I don't want to bring them up to full torque until I test to be sure I'm getting oil flow out of the passage on this cylinder stud rod. The reason for that is because these upper rods are part of the oil flow from the oil pump to lubricate the top end of the engine around the valve gear. So what happens is oil flows into the hole around the cylinder stud rod and up the annulus between that rod and the hole in the cylinder in the head so that it comes out through this pillow block and lubricates the top end. So I want to test to be sure that that oil is flowing and I haven't got any plugging in the oil passage. Before I do the test, I make sure I've got oil in the engine and also I've removed the spark plug so it's easier to crank and I've taken the green wire off the coil. The green wire puts energy into the coil and if there's no place for the energy to go because there's no spark plug to ground it, you can get arcing between the primary and secondary windings in the coil which will damage it. And if you have an electronic ignition, you'll probably destroy it if you do, the, do this crank test with the spark plugs out. So I sort of don't want to do that. So I'm about ready to run my test. So to make it easy on myself, I'm just going to back these two nuts off and pull the rocker arm assembly off the engine. These are still got about five to 10 foot pounds on them, so they'll hold everything, but I won't damage the head because they're pretty low torque. And then what I'm looking for is oil flow out of here. Now it may take a while to crank the engine and get enough pressure to push the oil up this passage. So it, don't, don't be worried if it takes a little bit of cranking. Um, here we go. Well, I think you could see that oil flowing, but in case it wasn't obvious, I'm going to zoom in a little bit, and you can see oil dripping. Let me crank it one more time so you can see a little clearer. So there's the oil, and that proves that the passage is clear, so that's all good news.